Dr. Ponce to the delivery room. Hey, hey, is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, the, the machine seems to be working just fine. Where's that? He's still here, isn't he? I don't know. I have no idea. I, I came in there and the nurse said that, that he suddenly just left. I'm scared. What the hell do you want? Justice. I know that look in Zach's eyes. And it scares the hell out of me. I'm so sorry the valve didn't work. Oh, Zach is furious that Ian isn't strong enough, that, that he has to be in a machine un until he can have another surgery. Are you absolutely sure? I honestly, I think um, the waiting was driving him crazy. You double check. All right, well, he's nowhere in the hospital. Security checked the cafeteria, they checked the grounds, checked surrounding area. Are you sure you called every number he has? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I called home, I called the casino, I called his cell. He's not answering me on purpose. He would want to know any news about Ian. Well, there's no question where he went, is there? You knew. This whole time you knew and you did nothing. You put your greed ahead of my son's life. Now, what do you think I should do now? Just get out of my house. Zach, please. Zach. I am just as angry as you are about Ian, but Adam is not well. There is something wrong with him. You need to him. stay out of this. Leave the woman alone and get out of my house. You're, you're venting to the wrong person. You should be having this conversation with Hayward, especially since you were stupid enough to believe his accusations. The truth. Man to man. Did you or did you not know that there was something wrong with this valve? We knew that there was a problem with the valve. Yes. Scott tried to stop it. But it was too late. And you did nothing. Just sitting there quiet. Hoping for some kind of miracle, hoping that Ian will pull through. And then your company would be okay and no one would say anything. If we knew beforehand that the problem was there, then we would have stopped the operation. But come on, Zach. The child was on the operating table. The prototype was supposed to save his life. If you'd have been in that position, you'd have done exactly the same thing I did. Zach, Zach stop, 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 okay? Listen to me. I know you're scared. I know you're angry about Ian. I understand that. I understand that this is not the way to do it, all right? Think about it. You lay one hand on him, they're going to put you away, and you're not going to be able to be there for Ian when he needs you the most. This company's gone down, Zach, after this scandal. Let him be humiliated. There'll be mm. plenty of time for revenge later. Exactly. Please, Zach, just, just get back to Ian. Kendall and Ian need you. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, Zach. You're going to get your shot at Adam. Just do this the right way. Come on. No, Zach. No, Zach. You know what? I thought about doing this the right way. It's not going to work. I'm going to do it my way. Your whole miserable life you've been getting away with it. Your whole life. It ends now. No, Zach. What are you doing, Zach? That's what I'm going to shoot you. If anything else happens to my son. Zach! Zach, drop it! Drop it now, Zach! You mean this? What? Are you out of your mind? All right, lock the bastard up. Salt and battery. Right here. Erica saw it. She saw it all. She heard the threat that he was going to put a bullet right here in the middle of my forehead. Tell him! <laughs> all right, Lavery back here, he's, uh, 
He was a witness to some of uh, Zach's earlier threats. Take him out to the to the foyer. Lock him up. I don't think so. You don't think so? That man broke into my house and threatened my life, and you're going to do nothing about it? I'll have your badge, Jesse. You're not going to have anything, Adam Chandler. You know, I put my butt on the line for you when you kidnapped your grandson. Then I helped you get him back. You owe me. You helped me get off the hook when I kidnapped my own grandson. <laughs> That's, yeah, listen to yourself. That's pathetic. That man out there, he's got a little boy who needs him right now because somebody was very careless about what went into his little chest. Now, I will keep Zach away from you, your son, and your nephew. But I got to tell you, kind of know what he's feeling right now. So you're not going to press any charges. Isn't that right, Erica Kane? That is absolutely right. I'm going to make sure he doesn't. That is not satisfactory. Oh, shut up, Adam. Go back to the hospital. I will arrange for bail. If anything happens with Ian, just let me know, right? If anything happens to that boy. You'll be there to hear it yourself. Uncuff him. You gotta promise me. No more breaking and entering. No more assault. What's that? Come on. You trying to destroy your family? If my son dies, it's gonna destroy my life. You must hate me for talking you into the surgery. For using Adam's valve. Maybe you should have put a big X on my forehead instead. I don't hate you. I don't blame you for anything. You fought for our son, that's all you did. I blame Adam. I blame Adam and his greed. After what happened tonight, they'll be watching you. Yeah, no doubt. And if anything happens to Ian, they won't leave you alone. They'll probably take you into custody to protect Adam. I want you to know if that happens, I'll take care of things. If Ian dies, I'll kill Adam. If Ian dies, You'll kill Adam. What, you don't think I can do it? You got Spike to think about. I wouldn't be stupid about it. I would kill Adam and I would get away with it, too. These past few months, we've been, uh, been worlds apart. With our son. That's a bomb we'll always have. It's gonna be fine. They're gonna fix him up, and he's gonna be a strong young man. Amen to that. But if the outcome should be different, I know what I have to do. What's going on? We're coming to an understanding. Angie's out in the hall, and she would like to speak to you, too. Okay, um, you go ahead. I'll be right out. What was that all about? Contingency plans for the future. Would you like to talk about it? Is there anything that I can do to help? Yeah. Don't ever ask me about it again. <laughs>